It's day four of the trip and we are just climbing up into the mountains on the Ho Chi Minh Road. This is the central part of the Ho Chi Minh Road and we are traveling from Khe San to Phong Nha. And we might be staying at this hotel along the way. It's a newer hotel and it has most recently opened up halfway between Khe San and Phong Nha just so that backpackers and motorcyclists can stay here on the way and can split this trip up into two because it is such a beautiful road. As you can see here, we have the surroundings which are absolutely incredible. We're just climbing up into the mountains and the road is winding up slowly but surely and we'll see how high it goes but it does go all the way up to the Lao border. Laos? Lao? I never know which one it is. Lao is the people and the language I think. Laos is the country. So up here we have someone just freewheeling down the mountain here to save gas. So here's what we've done with the bikes. We've strapped on I've just got an extra bottle of water and an extra bottle of gas because we aren't sure if there'll be gas stations open. And this is the setup. I carry that bag with some more rain gear in. And then Kyle bought a bigger bottle because he doesn't he really doesn't want to run out of gas. And he has some waterproof bags too, which are really nice for this kind of thing. I'm okay, thanks. Nutty bagels? Looks like a peanut kind of, ah, peanut butter maybe? Hmm. Okay, just crashed the drone and I was just hiking through the jungle just went through that to go find it and it looks like it's in one piece I'm just taking time out now because I'm right there on this I thought I was finding a quick way down but whew, I'm glad I found it it's in one piece we'll see if it still works <sighs> so what just happened there well I saw him find the drone at a pretty low level towards some trees and I was like is he gonna stop? <laughs> nope. Went straight into the trees and then went down. Yeah. Over there. Alright, let's see if it still works. Okay, so good news is the drone is still alive. And I am hot and sweaty and dirty. Look at that. Kyle found the drone. He also got kind of dirty. Saved the day. I'm amazed it's still working. So here you go. Here are the actual drone shots that we are trying to get.
That's crazy. We don't really have to go farther, but we can. Um, pretty good clearing over there. That direction. Yeah. I reckon we should just walk up there. Like, can't be any better than up there, really. I don't know if we'll be able to ride the bikes though. Maybe we just park at the bottom. Whoa. Oh, shit. Whoa. Okay, so we just found this little path that goes up the hill and I think we're about to see probably one of the best views I've ever seen. <laughs> Your ass is really dirty. Thank you. <laughs> Feels like I'm in a plane. Yeah. In a plane view. That's incredible. This spot is absolutely amazing. We've got the rolling hills and mountains behind us. And what more can I say? This is, this is why we come out and do these trips, to see this kind of view. It's just spectacular. We've got thunder rolling in, some clouds and storm coming in probably, but just being up here is so peaceful and beautiful. Couldn't really ask for much more than this. So isolated. Can't hear any motorbikes. So nice. That was freaking awesome. Best view ever. And it's starting to rain a little bit, so I need to quickly get back and get my rain gear on. Hopefully it doesn't start pouring all of a sudden. Oh, slippery. Left my keys in the back. Luckily no one drove away with it. This is the closest we're going to get to the Laos border, which is exactly one kilometer in that direction. So everything you see just right over there is Laos, uh, which is pretty cool. I guess if you just hiked that way, you'd be in Laos. I wonder if that trail that forked off actually goes to the border. Anyway, I think this is probably also one of the highest points we're going to get to. So this day is supposed to be one of the most amazing rides in the country and so far so good. Can't say that it isn't probably the best ride that I've done in Vietnam. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs>
So earlier we climbed an entire mountain while it was pouring. We went all the way up and then down the other side, started to clear up on the other way, on the way down the other side. But it was quite intense and I'm really glad I had all that rain gear and a full face helmet. Otherwise I would have not been having a good time. And it was pouring, you know, it was, it was just intense. I can understand why during the Vietnam War, it was just so tough the, the weather conditions for the Americans and interestingly this entire area that we're in this province was one of the most heavily bombed areas of the Vietnam War which it seems so weird because it's so isolated now but this is the Ho Chi Minh Road that a lot of the war was fought along I think this spot here by the river is a good place to end things off for the day. We've got 10 more kilometers to this little hotel in the middle of nowhere. I'm just gonna finish off the vlog now because it's just been such an epic day. So good. Uh, even the rain was fun. It felt like we were in Jurassic Park when we were climbing up the mountain with all the rain. So any final thoughts on the day? Now, nah, just ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be part two of more of the same and probably better. Uh, tomorrow will take us to Phong Na, the caves area. Um, yeah, nothing else to say. Alright. What did you speak for us?